wheeler legs come at a cost is they're heavy. This <laughs> is real heavy. And when you you go on certain jobs or you got a Jeep off. Sorry, I'm scratching my nose. Um you gotta shake the load. So you kind of have all the weight on over the 24. So you basically have to unchain, shake it back, put a chain on it. I, I don't have any experience in it, but I would just be scared that it might something might happen. Like if you had it too far back and you jeeped off and it fucking went like this, <laughs> you would be so fucked. I helped the guy once. I was like, man, that's a lot of work to be mid, guy. Low boy guys got it made. But you are handicapped and driving around way fucking longer. We gotta look at it this way. The rig came in, it can go out, or vice versa, you know. Usually they built the roads pretty good. Blow it over it. Blow it up. Uh, probably would have been able to sneak them up without putting any air in this. remember everything the first time this time. some ferrite beads. Hopefully that's going to solve that problem. Brakes. Check them lights while I'm out there. Yeah, I never had that problem before until I uh, redid all that wiring on the uh, battery box. The only answer solution I could find was like ferrite beads. I think that's the right term for them. Am 
we're gonna be loading that past the front of the all these uncertainties here's what I like to do pull out some this way It's easier to pull it out when you're holding onto a hook. <sighs> Almost went down. Got less traction here on gravel. Shit, I'm failing. nowhere near enough, I know that. It's about half. Oh fuck, now this is gonna be in the way now. Cock. A little more than half. Couple plus as that winter's over. Spray the thread, they look good, but you know. Low and tight. Yes, I'm fucking panting. Fuck you guys. <laughs> you would be too. Some of you guys would probably die. You old timers think you guys still pulled up the line? I don't want to be doing this when I'm way older, that's for sure. Should have done this while it was off. Oh, it's ex 
exceptionally harder on a low bro. Technically can't go anywhere. You guys don't even know what's going on. Double check, make sure it's still recording. 14 minutes, almost 15. Do I do all that? It's not bad. Like I always said before, I rush, so I make sure I don't a run out of battery life because this thing's tiny, and it doesn't just automatically stop recording. Which I turned it up, it was at 15 minutes, and so now I can, should be able to get 30, but when it's like 20 above and more outside, chances are it's going to overheat and just shut off. <clears throat> so we'll keep trying. I don't really have any solutions, or nor can I afford the solution. I don't really, I haven't found anything out there, like GoPro's got a new 12 mini or 11 mini, but it's... It's like literally three quarters the size of a regular camera. I'm like, dude, I can't just, this one is nice. Let's get a backwards view. So it just clips on the hat like that. Super light, it's not intrusive, it's not heavy, it's not in my way. It sticks out like a sore thumb. Now you got black ones. I'm like, where the fuck was the black one when I bought mine? I'm like, why would you make it white? But anyways, we're gonna drive up to Conklin today, and then tomorrow morning we're gonna go a little further, load a fat ass boiler, hence the big wheels, and uh, bring it back here to Sub-Zero slash Silverback slash, I don't even know what it all is now, but Sub-Zero to me. So that's the plan. Drive to Conklin. Stay at Conklin Corner, breakfast, coffee, we would have loaded at like 8.30 or 9, only like another hour down the road, so...
I think both of those are clean harbors. That's, I think this is all clean harbors, but there's one, two, three camps, plus a big massive shop there. Nobody's home. Pretty crazy, I know. This would be a pretty busy place. I don't know if all the projects are just basically done or what. So yeah, we'll stay at the corner where we turned in here. This restaurant, Ramada. Staying in this Ramada though, not that one. This is like a quarter to seven. We left just shortly after two, like 10 after, I think. Somewhere around there. Pretty much ran for like three hours there. Uh. 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 Burr. Said the guy that put on shorts for today. I was like, oh, I'll wear shorts. If I get cold, I'll just wear my coveralls. Ha <laughs> ha! Not to the restaurant. Just stopped raining, like, probably, well, you can see it's over there. It was like probably 20K ago it stopped raining. Hopefully, I decide to stay over there. We're in a plant setting anyway, so we should be all right. Pretty sure I've been to this place to load rail gear one time. I think we'll be fine. Hopefully it's not in some shitty spot. take much just paint the side of it and the rims it's only eight above right now Celsius not the warm it'll get cooler probably probably almost get down to one or zero oh this thing leaks free fuel man what the fuck? I made a mess. It's gonna spill one way or another. Can't afford absorption around here. This is a nice scoop. to do an EF to get receipts. It's kind of nice. It's real nice because that was the one thing I hated about. We did it for a little bit at Road Train and I was like man I hate this. And a couple other places I worked but then we did it at Cyprus too and I was just like man I hate doing IFTA receipts and we always had the tally up at the end of the month and it was just like man the end of the month comes real quick. Get out the calculator do some adding. Maybe they're not open. Suck, I know they've been kind of not open, closed, open, closed, closed, open. Look at that. Yeah. Ray. 
Big ride. So, what the fuck you looking at? Eight. They close at eight. It's quarter after. I'm like, fuck. They open at six for breakfast, so we'll be getting that. A big one. All the money I save by not getting dinner. That kind of sucks. That's how she goes sometimes. Let's see if there's any parking out back in the corner here. Darn it! Oh well, at least it's not fucking pouring. What? Put all the driving in the rain yesterday. I never got any water inside. Now that I'm sitting still. Well, sad disappointment. We're basically a slice above getting like your steam table continental breakfast. <clears throat> like, oh, we have no breakfast menu, but they're doing like uh, buffet, scrambled eggs. I like over easy. God damn it, they were generous with the bacon and sausage and everything, but and it was a uh, decent bacon. It wasn't that paper thin bullshit. Still, I had my heart set on some uh, over easies. Watch well, the bitch for the morning, let's go. And it was 16 bucks, and they wanted a tip. I was like, I served myself, no tip.
Seems like a pretty easy job. Maybe a retirement gig, huh? It's almost still like bed trucking, but not really.
tune front and back, of course. Going by a bunch of scales. Raining, so that's nice. My escort in a Corolla. <laughs> little more level spot. Not that I couldn't do it there, but they probably wouldn't like me climbing up there, you know? No fall or ass. options
Wow, too high to go the way I want to go. 204, can you guys remember that? Because I'd love to forget shit as soon as I fucking done it. It's gotta be pretty much the same. Oops. Less. We're not gonna make 5 1, so. Hopefully that rinses.
just get nauseous. Sometimes that happens. It's like the, the wheeler weave. <laughs> you always go too much every time and you have to put it back up like this. Fish tail in her. Well, I know for certain, for ease here,
should have been back a little bit further, but I was struggling. Should really be the other way around too, so you don't have to worry about this manifold out front. Stepped ahead a little bit before I put her right down. Or you step ahead and try to hold the brake, you know, and then winch it down. It actually gives more force on your on your winch, but suffered it slip. Get out of the mud anyways. I guess I can still back up here. I'm just gonna be right in the corner like an asshole. It'd be lighter to carry that without it, but it's hard to carry without that. <laughs> uh, that makes sense. Leave that there. wrong with hauling groceries you guys just back up and open the door and that's it fuck problem is it doesn't pay me enough to raise a family of five well everybody just sits at home plays video games gets fucking stoned it's a good thing I love my job Untied and on your snatch. Could be a little warmer, but then if it was warmer, I'd be in the yard. <sighs> Fuck. I wonder 
when they make the threads too long on these fucking things. So the threads get caught in shit, you know? We always had to cut them down. See how it's all gnarled up from hitting shit. Gnarls bark lead. Fettuccine Alfredo for dinner. Get away. <sighs> Fuck off. Fucking mud flaps in the fucking neck. Cleaning up here instead of in the mud. Okay. See you tomorrow. Fuck it. Got a restring and tighten it all up, anyways. Hopefully it'll be uh <laughs> gotta tie onto something heavy to do it though, right? Like they usually use that green skid, yard number two, but ain't going in there when it's muddy. This is where it's gonna get right fucked. Fall over! You fuck. This is where it's nice to have a remote. Fucking bullshit. Uh, my other truck, it was all enclosed around the drum. This is fucking atrocious. So it'll fall over, right? And it'll tuck in there. Fuck your line. Don't look at it. I'm embarrassed I showed you that. Scar in my fucking perfect log. Just kidding. It's not perfect. Don't fucking go. Fuck. Caught the fucking top of the trailer now. Oh, fuck's sake. Honestly, I fucking kind of hate wheeling, winch. I like doing it. I hate all the fucking rest of the bullshit that comes with it like this. Fuck. This fucking embarrassment. Definitely gonna have to do something about that. Get driving around like that. Oh, I need it tomorrow, so yeah, I have to fix it. Gonna use a mechanical removable gooseneck. So. Instead of ramming it up and down, I'm gonna be winched. Hope that wasn't an airline. <laughs> so I just leave. Won't notice my snatch block until I drive away with the car. Everybody's ready to get their nuts hurt. It's for the big hernia lift. I put my 
my shit on the hook. Fuck, what an idiot. gonna be like a fucking two hour feature film. We cut a lot of shit out. Woo! Let's go park this thing, hopefully. If you leave your winch line all shitty like that, and then even if you had it on there straight and just had a soft spool, like all that line, and then go to load something, because you still have like a full wrap and a half that's soft, it's not rolled tight, it'll fuck crease your line and shit. I made this. This goes in here. The winch control. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And wedges into there. I was using a bungee, but it doesn't work worth shit because there's nothing to bungee to and it takes too much time when you want to kick it off. Because uh, we're in rain season now, so it'll always be shitty to pull out. And that'll be dry for a week or two, and then winter will be back. Look at that shit. It wasn't fucking green when I left. I want some of that shit. Weeds, they always green first. All right, I, look, the, what the point is, we couldn't do our job if it weren't for you guys doing all the paperwork, answering the phones, all that stupid shit that we don't like to do. All the gunfights, all the car chases, all the sex we don't want to have with women, but we have to all do to what you guys do. Thank you. And we do it again and again. Hey, 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 you shut your face! You're not clean. <laughs>